And we are here outside the lovely Orange Room studio and kitchen in beautiful downtown Coon Rapids, Minnesota, picking some jalapenos that we will be using in the taco show today. So I'm just going to grab about four or five of these, and we'll head back up to the kitchen. So here's our ingredients right here. We have on the left, starting from left to right, or whoop, I'm going to go this way. We're going to start with half a pound of raw hamburger, one can of refried beans, as many jalapenos as you would like, right out of the garden, fresh and very nicely washed. Uh, the magic seasoning that we'll be using to season the tacos today, one onion, and your choice of tortillas, be they flour or wheat. We'll get our pan hot here before we add the hamburger. Boom, right in the pan. Put the lid on, let that cook while we go chop our aromatics. Got our onion peeled and we're gonna cut it. Just a small dice on our lovely wobbly cutting board here. Small dice, a whole onion, makes about a cup of nicely chopped onions. That is the camera that is not stable. The cutting board is as firm as a concrete garage. It's just the camera that's wobbly, ha, ha, ha. We're gonna throw those right into the pan. And now we're gonna go and we'll put, of course, put the lid back on. You notice I did not use oil in this because the hamburger has its own 80-20. It's not that bad. Here we got our jalapenos. Now we're gonna just cut like French Revolution here. We're just gonna cut off their heads and put those over there. Then we're gonna slice them right down the middle lengthwise, and I'll show you why in a second. Another one down there, I'm only using three. I don't wanna overpower the dish with peppers. Now you'll see here, this right here, the seeds and the inner skin is where all the heat is. And if you want to, you can take your knife and remove those. But since we're not a sissy on this show, or this show is not for sissies, we're going to chop everything and put it into the pan and cook it with our meat and our refried beans and our onions. So there we go. Make sure that when you are done with all this, after you've put it into the pan, there we go, there's our dice, uh -huh. Okay, into the pan we go, wiping it off, throwing it into the pan. Important to remember to wipe or wash your hands very well because if you go to wipe your eyes with those oils from the jalapenos, you will regret it. Trust me, I have done it before, you will regret it. I'm just going to grind this up a little bit here. It doesn't have to be all minced and pretty like you make sloppy joes with. You'll see why when we add the refried beans. But we'll just get all this mixed together and the heat on it. Before we do that, though, let's get the camera angle better so you can see what we're actually doing. Here we have... Okay, up, oh, shameless plug. Chef Polite's Chili Seasoning and Dry Smoke Rub. Anyway, we're going to add about two, tablespo two tablespoons of this into the pan with the meat, onions, and jalapenos. We're going to add probably about a quarter cup of water and just put the lid right back on it and let this all cook together. Now the meat and the is all cooked. The onions are translucent and the peppers are mildly cooked to where they're not Oh, we can't see anything because of the steam on the lid. Hey, somebody want to get the lid off? Oh, thank you. Now we see the lid is off now and the ground beef is cooked. The onions are translucent and the peppers are um, cooked to where they're a little bit tender. The water is in there. Now we're just going to add the beans. We don't need to stir this up yet because I got a secret here I want to show you. We put the lid back on. Yes, back on, thank you. Production people are hard to find these days. And you let the beans get hot. When the beans get hot, then they're easier to mix into the meat and burr and onion mixture because they are more pliable. Now you can see we're just gonna mix this all up, get it all together. The ground beef is does not need to be ground up like we said earlier, like chili meat or taco meat, because this will give it a hearty, uh, texture when you go to put it into the taco. We're gonna let this cook, simmer together, marry the flavors, and get up to par on the temperature heat-wise. Now, as you see, we use a clean spoon that doesn't have raw hamburger meat germs on it. We're gonna re-stir it all back up again, and we're gonna start plating it into our tortilla shells. Wham, there it is. Add a little cheese, fold it in half, 
for presentation. Put these all on a platter. You can add whatever you'd like to it. A lot of toppings that people like to have with this are sour cream, guacamole, corn salsa, more shredded cheese, pico de gallo, onions, cilantro, lemons or limes, or perhaps some, I can't read my own writing, some different, hmm, I can't read it, different cheeses, that must be what it says. Anyway, thanks for joining, it's only food today, we made tacos, we love you, bye bye. Hi, and thanks for watching today on It's Only Food. We, we just did a taco show with uh, ground beef, refried beans, some jalapenos from the garden outside the orange room here in Coon Rapids, and just your typical cheddar cheese and some onions in a soft shell taco. So many different variations of that. Like I said, this is It's Only Food. We just show you how to do the basics and the mechanics of a dish, and you can go from there today. I'd like to uh, shout out to all the people that have subscribed to It's Only Food on my cooking channel on YouTube. That address is youtube.com, capital P-O-L-T-R-I-131312. You go there and you, and you can see the channel on all the, I got 45 shows now, uh, over 550 subscribers and close to 36,000 views. I encourage you to go to that and view it. And I'd like to see more comments. We're doing real good on everything else, but I'd like to see more comments. A lot of people tell me that they they got advice on the show or what they'd like to see on the show and stuff like that. But they're telling me verbally, I'd like to see you, or if there's something you'd like to see the show to make the content better. I know I'm not a perfect, you know, I am no means think that I'm perfect. This is just a learning experience as I go along. But if you've got experience with camera work or production or editing or music or vocals or anything like that could help the production, by all means, put it down in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. I will to get back to you and engage you with, uh, if you do comment, I'd love to hear from my fans out there. So please do that. Also, please share it on your Facebook wall or your uh, Twitter account or whatever you've got. Share it. Um, I have a Facebook page at facebook.com slash chef right here underneath. I'll hopefully remember to do this when I edit. Uh, you click on there and go right to my Facebook page. Like that, share it, leave a comment. I do a lot of pictures, the videos, other chefs that I know throughout the social media world off of Facebook and Twitter and things like that. I'll share some of their stuff too so you can see other things, not just my things. So I do like to share other chefs content too. Uh, recipes, pictures, ingredients, things like that that they're excited about out there in the old culinary world out there. Oh, I forgot. As you saw in the video, we do use our own brand of seasoning. This is Chef Polite's Dry Rub and, I don't even know my own spice, Chef Polite's Chili Seasoning and Dry Smoke Rub. You go to our website at www.itsonlyfood.biz. You'll see at the top up here of the, of the web page, this is a web page now, you click on Chili Seasoning and you'll see what this is all about. You'll see pictures and testimonials from people that have bought it and used it. It is very good in Bloody Marys from what I hear. I won't know about that until football season. Um, it's good in Sloppy Joes, I just heard. Uh, tacos that we just shown you on this show. Tacos, it's very good in tacos. It's a smoky, it's got a little bit of a bite to it, but at the end it kind of closes out with a little sweetness. So it's not, it's not overbearingly hot where you're sweating and everything too. It has a little bit of close out on that with uh, some sweetness because it's got some powdered brown sugar in it that kind of cuts that heat. But it's very good. I've gotten a lot of comments about it. A lot of people are buying it. So go on to the website and you'll see some testimonials. This is a new one that I'm coming out with. It's an all-purpose seasoning. I haven't got it in bottles yet or on the, on the market, but it's coming hopefully in this fall. Uh, looking towards football season, October, somewhere in there to get this out. It's an all-purpose seasoning. Very good. I would like to give another shout out to all the people that work in this industry. A lot of people out there, there's chefs and people that get the attention, but there's also the people that are in the restaurant going in every day doing their job. Wait staff, bartenders, cooks, dishwashers, uh, bus boys, hostesses, everybody that goes out there and does their job and works hard but doesn't get a lot of recognition. Also, there's people that are working in resorts and restaurants and truck stops and things like that that people visit on a daily basis countless places where they're that where they're at and you never hear their name you don't know who they are the people that are getting all the attention on tv and in the books and the media that's great but there's people out there that are the backbone of this industry and i really love to give them a shout out because they deserve it so thank you very much for that
coming from It's Only Food. We love you here. On the next show, we will hopefully, I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we are going to throw in a second camera. So there'll be some second angle shots. Learning how to do that now, working with that. So tune in for that. I can guarantee you it's going to be something fun. Well, thanks for watching today. We appreciate it. And make sure you share, subscribe, comment, and like our Facebook page, our YouTube channel page, and also check out our website, itsonlyfood.biz. Thanks a lot for watching today. We love you. Take care of yourselves. And remember, it's only food. Bye-bye.